Monday. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. My voice is kind of shot today. Had a great weekend, clearly. This morning I got up with the Fox Trot, had my coffee with my dad, and then I worked there. My voice. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I've been going to a nice 11:30 Pilates class, which I loved because in the morning I just get straight to work. I get a bunch of stuff done that I need to get done. I go work out. I have a little break as like a lunch break. Come home, shower, get ready, have the rest of my day. So today is Monday. I have been working. I need to go to Sprouts. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, tonight I'm actually going to film an in-depth night routine. Very similar to the in-depth morning routine I just filmed. If you guys haven't seen it, go watch. Anyway, so I'm going to film a night routine tonight. <sighs> Subscribe if you guys are new here. I hope you guys have been really enjoying the Week in My Life vlogs. Just a girl at work, everyone, you know? I really want to go ride horses today, but I can't. It's actually oddly warm today, but I think I'm just gonna throw this jacket on. I have so many packages to unbox to show you guys. This, by the way, I got my newly subscription. It's really cute, I wore a horseback riding. I got new jeans from Princess Polly, because normally they are my favorite, especially the asymmetrical and like the fit down here. These are new, um, they fit like this area weird, like it's almost like right here, my thighs are too big, but it fits the rest of my leg well, it never, it's not flattering on my butt at all, I mean they're like comfortable, not the most comfortable, not the best jeans ever, honestly they would be perfect if this just fit better, um, but I also got these jeans, these are the Alabama jean, which I thought they were so cute and they have this little slit on the side, Pretty much, I have so many pairs of jeans and I always just go back to my Princess Polly ones, even over way more expensive ones. I got these too. I thought these were like fun and a little bit different. Even like with a tight sweater and boots or something, I just thought this was cute. Um, anyways, we are off to Sprouts. I have been living for this bag since I purchased it. I'm honestly pretty tired, so I might go get some Starbucks as well. I'm having a really good Monday. We're going to my favorite place in the world, which is Sprouts. It's my favorite grocery store. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I also got this like, lip gloss, which honestly, I got it randomly at the drugstore. It definitely looks like a cheaper kind of lip gloss and the applicator isn't like insane. I like it and it stays on. I'm not gonna go out and say it's the best thing I've ever had. I just picked out a podcast to listen to. Skinny Confidential. Look at my nail right now. Normally I would get this bread, Dave's bread, my favorite bread ever, or Ezekiel, but I always do Dave's at Sprouts. Immediately the beverage department. I love Better Booch. These two are my favorites, but I love all of them. Also, Olipop is so good, the root beer is my favorite. I love like pre-made meals. I normally will just grab one just if I'm like really, really busy so I don't door dash like I did today. Um, also, this is so convenient if you're like making salads and stuff. I love the salmon. Both of them, but especially this one. So good. Favorite coffees right here. It didn't even cover that much, and I somehow still have five bags. I just, the thing about Sprouts is that they randomly have cool things that I want to try. Um, so we're going to go do a haul. Okay, so we're going to do a little haul. I like kind of got the vibe. I wasn't supposed to be filming in there. So I kind of sucked, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a haul. I'm making soup tonight. Oh, surprise, surprise. So I just picked out things that I need. Chicken stock, I got mangoes, because I love having mango as a snack. Bananas. I'm going to try a new cold brew. I got this mainly because it was smaller for my fridge, but it's the Stumptown Coffee Roasters Cold Brew. All my other ones, I love the Califia Farms ones. I just wanted to see if I like this, because it is smaller. Long grain rice, celery, avocados, onions, which are literally the foundation of adulthood. I also got cucumbers. I used to eat like Quaker oats, hummus, and cucumbers as snacks with like lemon juice on top. 
and everything with the bagel seasoning all the time. I don't know why it stopped. I have some bone broth to drink. I used to be so good about it, um, and I haven't been recently. Chicken, hummus, an easy pre-made meal. Kale for my soup, Quaker oats. Oh, I wanted to try this, the bonza mac and cheese. So it's like the chickpea, it's basically chickpea mac and cheese, which sounds great. And then I want to start drinking um, peppermint tea at night again, so we're back on that. I'm still finishing my sweet tea. I'm looking for a new book. I'll tell you how I do it. McAllister Sweet Tea, 10 out of 10. So, I'm on Goodreads right now. I go through there, typically I have like a list or I have books on my like TBR list. Tonight I'm gonna finish the latest book in the Simple Wild series, which I'm really sad about finishing because I love that series, but I think I wanna keep my book still like light and cute either. Actually, I think I want like a really sad romance novel. I don't know, like I want something like love in other words kind of vibe. Anyways, I just go on Goodreads and then I download a bunch of samples to my Kindle and then I go on my Kindle and then read from there. But there's just such a reading community online. Like even before book talk, like there's just people that I follow for book recs. The problem is that I've read so much that I've read most of the recommendations at this point. Cause we're like two years into like my reading kick again. But basically I just go on Goodreads and I look through and then I'll go through lists that I've made already. Also if I read a book that I love, I'll go and read all of the author's other books, which I feel like people actually don't really do as often, which I feel like it sounds like an obvious one, but I don't know, it's a good good way. All right, everyone, we have some unboxings to do. So many packages, I've been just letting them pile up. Let me let you in on a life hack. I haven't experienced a hangover. My hangovers are like debilitating and I'm so dramatic. Anyways, I wake up feeling fine. It is the purple tree for a great day after celebrating herbal vitamin. I just take two when I get home after drinking and I wake up feeling fine. I'm not kidding, best thing ever happened to me. I bought my dad a Kindle, how cute. Okay, I have a package from Blender Bonds. I have a founder on the podcast, it was such a good episode. They're super food snacks, they're really cool. You just throw them in a smoothie. Ooh, Tipsy Spritzer, more Blender Bonds. Oh my God, these look so good. They have like Blender Bomb bars. Oh my God, ah, it's me, podcasting Blender Bombs, Kinsey Bomb. <laughs> guys, that is so cute. Look at how beautiful this is. I mean guys, this is just the best package ever. On the lighters from Helen, that is so funny. Well, I got these tights and I overnighted them and they came in too late. I needed them for the weekend. So now I just have extra. Okay, I hope these are my new sneakers. I really, really hope. I just needed new sneakers. So I got these from Nike. How cute. I will literally live in these. Last but not least, I got two cowboy hats from Princess Polly. Um, these were like cheap and just colored ones. The pink one. Cute. And then we have this cute little brown one. Say try Amazon Music Unlimited for Cody Johnson on Amazon. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. I woke up. I've just been working all morning. I've actually been liking getting up, doing a little bit of reading, journaling, having my morning coffee, and then getting work done, and then going to work out. I've preferred it. I was gonna go to 11.30 Pilates, but Jessica and I kinda need to do a meeting about the Okine anyway, so we're just gonna go walk Katie Trail and brainstorm. This journal, by the way, it's from Oswald. I love it. I don't know what it is about this specific one. I just love it. We're listening to country music all morning. Now I'm editing TikToks, I'm working up book posts. I mean, we're living a good life. I mentioned last week that I'm trying to not like, I don't know the words to use. If you guys watched last week's video, well first off, these bar stools that are probably about to fall and fall apart, that never, have been here for a year and have never been fully put set up, um, they're gonna be replaced on Friday finally by the ones I've wanted. And my other furniture is coming here March 3rd, so I'm really excited. But anyways, I've been thinking a lot about how I live my life and what I want my life to feel like and I've realized that I don't, I want my life to be very full and 
busy, but I don't like using that word because it stresses me out. I feel like my life is very full. I have a very full capacity. I can do a lot of things, but I don't want to feel like I am constantly hurried or in a rush or just like living like with high stress. I don't want that. It's not that I necessarily want to take things away. I just want to change my mindset and I want to live very calm. So I'm working on that because I'm naturally, I would not say a calm person. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm like the most calm person, but I want to be like so zen. I think I equate like if I like my life and if I'm having fun and I'm not stressed all the time as if I'm not doing enough, but like I can do the exact same amount of stuff and not feel that way. You know what I mean? Just working on that. Gonna edit a TikTok really quick and then I'm going to Katie Trail. I really wanna get coffee too. So I think that's the move. I got my new shoes on. We're in Knox Henderson, going to the Knox entrance for Katie Trail. How are you feeling? Good. It's your second right workout of the day. Yeah. Listen, gotta get your steps in. True. Everyone. Guys, look at her sweats. If you know, you know. What are the chances that I take a photo of Jess and her do mom merch and I send it in and say spot it? I think it's great. About 100%. We're here to give you a little okay update. What do you have to say? Um, I talk, 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 talk. Yeah. Yeah. I would say we're making some really exciting moves. We have like, for the first time, I think like a, a pretty good timeline, a good idea of timeline, a good idea of, you know, timeline. It's getting close. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, so we got the timeline, kind of. It's getting closer. We, I feel like the next samples we get, we're gonna live. Like I, yeah. I would have a really, I'm hoping. I'm saying that. Yeah, because it's gonna be true. Yeah. It's gonna be true. Once we okay the samples, then it's about a month turnaround. So we're like, we have this whole walk to like plan the shoot. Um, we're also talking like office spaces, which is difficult because commercial is like a three to five year lease, which we're not going to sign because you have no idea where you're going to be in three or five years. Yeah, it's just not, it's not Not smart. physically, but like where the company will be. It's just not smart to do. Yeah, it's not it. So we're looking at like other options. Right now we're going to be out of my garage until we like find a space and we're going to be doing shipping for the first while. We will be looking, that will be like the one thing we really outsource besides like graphics. Um, eventually. I'm pretty good at Adobe Photoshop. <laughs> Alright, just the shipping then. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we don't even need to really outsource graphics because we're gonna have that. So, we've already done that, I guess. So, go follow if you guys are lost. It's the clothing brand that we're starting. <laughs> um, yes, and it has been in the works for a while. It takes a long time to do it. It's a lot of money. It's self-funded. So that's just yeah. That's also partially why it's taking so long because we want everything to be perfect for you guys, but we also like can't be like it's literally our money. Like it's literally yeah. the two of us putting money in ourselves. So we like have to be smart too. So like that sometimes ends up making things take a little bit longer, but it's just because we want the quality and everything to be the best perfect. it can be. And also, it's like there's certain things that like we want to expand to. Like we we're gonna want to extend sizing as soon as possible, but because we don't have we just don't have enough money to come out with like a yeah. huge size range which is the goal but in order to make that happen we have to come out with product to then make money to then put it back in the business to expand right sizing um and that's a really big one that we like want to do but it's literally unless no one wants to write us a check for like two hundred thousand yeah, dollars we can't it's like not even possible we're starting with like limited batches and then we'll do drops every month um hopefully fingers crossed it launches in march yeah, that's it sounds so crazy to even say. I know, because it's February 1st. I know. It's it's March or April as of right now, but as soon as we get stuff, I mean, we're ready to go. We've been ready to go. Yeah. So it's yeah. just been, we're just, you know, perfecting quality and stuff like that, which takes the longest, but we're, we don't want to, like, skip out on it. If you guys want um, to stay up to date, you can follow the Instagram or join the newsletter, and that's where we'll be, start, we'll be starting to do, like, emails with all the information. So. Yeah. Also, join the Geneva group, because we've been asking Oh, yeah, we're questions. asking so many questions about, like, sizes, cuts, yeah. not also, sizes, like, but... Like, sneak previews of things Yeah, that we're, like, literally sending what it is, basically, because yeah. we just need... We need feedback. We need feedback. We, we need no colors. Like yeah. So it's basically like whatever you guys want. So join the Geneva chat. Yeah. All right. We're going to go look um, around at office spaces that we now we want. Um, they're a little expensive. So keep you busted. <laughs> Shh. 
so annoyed with myself this week. I actually got to get this on. First off, not annoyed with my outfit because it's really cute. Um, but I'm just so frustrated with myself because I just mentally, like, I'm not there. Last night I was so irritable for, like, no reason. I am starting my period soon, so I guess that's why. But... I just, for whatever reason, cannot talk. Like, when I filmed a video last night, it was pitiful. Like, I cannot talk to a camera. I can't talk to anyone. My brain fog is so bad. But anyways, I'm going to turn the day around. I've been working. My weekly schedule just got messed up. I was supposed to shoot for everybody housewife. Then you drop tomorrow. But it's not arriving until tomorrow now. So I had to reschedule all of that. And I've just been doing other stuff and whatever. Boring stuff. But I'm actually about to go get some food. It's three. Going up to a very late lunch. It's kind of like just like appetizers. Not, we're not getting lunch. Um, and then a really early dinner. We're going to the Charles tonight because I haven't been. I just wanted to go. Um, so I'm basically going to like two places. I'm going to Katie Charlie's house and then I'm going to the Charles. So it's a very Dallas day. I'm trying to not be hard on myself. But like, oh my gosh. Some weeks are just like you're out of it. Some days you're out of it. I don't want to say weeks and uh. That's me today. So, anyways, I'm going to see Maddie when I haven't seen her in so long. If you guys watched my videos, like OG videos in high school, she was in like all of them when I like best friends growing up. So I'm gonna head out so I'm not late and get myself together. Maybe this will just fix me, you know? Alright guys, we are at the Charles, met up with Jessica, we have cute little Marns, um, and honestly, she's deciding what we're eating because I never really care. We're in the little speakeasy part, it's super cute, yeah, it's really cute, so we're, it's literally 5.30, we're 70 years old, but like both of us like being in bed early, so I made it for 5.30, dream night. Just to uplifting. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday. I, it's almost 10 a.m. I've just been sitting here working. I'm doing a lot of outreach for Nashville, which I'm really excited for. I'm doing a batch recording um, trip. So if you guys have people you want me to have on from Nashville, comment below. Guys, I am just so off this week and I have PMDD and I realize it's because it's my week that my PMDD is like really high. And I am like, Oh my god, I cannot do anything. It's supposed to freeze tonight, so we're supposed to go to the rodeo, and we're going to go see Carter Faith perform, and I was really excited, but it doesn't look like we're going to do that because it's an hour away. Anyways, just getting some stuff done today. Sorry that I've been off in this vlog. I thought about just not even vlogging, but honestly, this is very realistic, and I really let you guys into a lot of my life, and I am just not feeling myself. It is so cold. I cannot believe it was... 70 earlier this week i have been on the verge of tears literally all week for no reason like nothing is even wrong I, like even happy things i've like teared up i someone was happy for their friend i teared up i just like oh my god i feel like i can't talk i can't think straight i can't do anything so i'm gonna go to Pilates and hopefully that helps me but i mean it's just not looking good for me I'm gonna organize and clean my closet once the merch comes in today. I'm gonna be so happy. Anyways, if you're a girl, which most of you are, you know. You know. Well, I guess not everyone. Not everyone has PMDD. You're very lucky, by the way. I'm back from Pilates. I've showered. I've gotten cozy. I have my slippers on. Sadly, no rodeo. I really wanted to go. We're getting the ice storm. If you guys saw last year, it was like detrimental and so sad. I'm not gonna make this vlog more negative um, than I feel like I've already been. So we're not gonna talk about it, but know that the ice storm is happening tonight. So I am home until further notice, which honestly just feels right. Like, you know those weeks that you just need to be home? Like, I might even put TV on, I don't know. But I think my merch came in. So we're gonna do a little unboxing. Um, this is out on February 10th. Uh, I wanna say 10 a.m. is my standard time. So go set your calendars, set your alarms. I need to see stories, new tagging stories. This is it. All right, the first thing we have is Breadwinning Housewife sweatpants, white. And what's cool about it is that they're embroidered. Like, look at how nice that is. 
And then, oh, just you wait. Are you ready? Look at how cute. And again, it is embroidered. I mean, are we just obsessed? Also, I'm 24 years old, and every time I say, are you ready, I hear the Zoe 101 theme song. And then, of course, we have the baseball cap. So cute. And then the tumbler that I've been showing you guys nonstop. Then we also just have some good old crews. So I have this pink one. Again, it's embroidered. Everything in this collection is embroidered with white. You guys really wanted something pink. So just a cute little crew. And then... And then we have it in this more like green color with black embroidery. I just think it is so cute. That is what we have for this drop. I'm really excited. You guys sold out the first drop or the last drop like within an hour. It's still available because it's print on demand. So we like bought a batch at first. So it will be like fast immediately. And then you guys sold it out literally four times over in the first day. So I was so happy i just like, couldn't believe all the support so thank you guys so much if you purchased anything and if you're going to like it literally means the entire world to me i cannot explain that and like i cannot express that enough i am just so grateful you have no idea i just ordered lunch from McAllister's because i'm craving it and also i don't think i'll be able to tomorrow so i'll be eating from home i'll be eating from home I just got a package from DP Hugh. I love Justin Anderson so much. Like I'm obsessed with him. I'm excited because this is like four color treated blonde. So there's a color fresh leave in mist, the blow dry cream, and then the color fresh thermal protection protection spray. You know what? We're putting the fire on. Genius idea. Working from the couch, but I just ordered McAllister's sweet tea, and then I've been getting the Rachel sandwich, just like the Reuben, but. I don't really know what's different about it, but it's really good. The MS, where I didn't feel... So, it is Wednesday night? Yes. So, I ended up having a pretty productive afternoon. Every time I'm vlogging, Fitch just comes because he thinks... I sit down and play with him like this all the time, so he just, like, doesn't understand that there's a camera here. Um, he's not understanding why he can't go play in the yard because it is going to be sleeting out there. Anyways, it's going to be like the ice storm tonight in Texas, so I've done everything I can do. We're in the house until further notice. I just wanted to talk about something that I feel like I talked about more on Instagram. It's like cute until it's annoying, you know? Sit. What do you think, bud? No, that's my skincare. Sit. I feel like I've been talking about this a lot recently, but it's just like this thought I've been having and I feel like a lot of people have been feeling this way post COVID, but the life that I live that I feel like I have to just be go, 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 booked every single hour, like more so like a hustle culture mentality is just like not what I want. And I talked to my therapist about this and it's not that I don't want to work hard and have this crazy career. It's not that at all. I just don't think that that is the way that it works for me also i'm just not happy like that i eventually burn out i prefer periods of time where i'll do like a week that's like pretty packed and busy because there is a part of me that loves that and there's a part of me that loves being on the go but then there's a part of me that also loves like feeling very grounded and very just calm and at peace and also i think just with the nature of my job i feel like if i'm not working 24 7 and then everything's just gonna fall to the ground and, you know if it's maybe you want to go sit in your chair Anyways, I talked about this a lot last week, but I feel like I've kind of gotten, I've been thinking about it more and I've gotten better answers almost. The pressure comes from myself. I truly do better. My job does better. My career does better. Everything does better when I am living at a more like healthy, more balanced life. Even though I don't necessarily believe in balance, I more so believe in priorities, which is like another way to say balance. Like at different times, you have different priorities. And I think my priority now is myself, where it's never been that way before ever. And I am really finding myself and I'm just, a, I think I've just developed a very strong sense of self over the past year or so. But now that I have achieved the level of inner peace that I found from riding horses, that is what I want my life to feel like. So I'm trying to just learn how to embody that in myself to where I carry that level of peace and calmness and regardless of like the things happening around me and also just like practically speaking hire out more. Yeah, I did a really fun Instagram Q&A today and I answered a lot of questions very in depth and I just like love when I feel close to you guys. I genuinely feel like you guys are my friends. So when I'm talking about things like even when a lot of people on the internet like 
when they have projects or things they want to do, they'll like keep it private until they launch, which I totally understand. But I'm kind of more so talking about like cowboy boot line. Like obvious, like I would tell all my friends that like I want to design a cowboy boot collection, and that's what it feels like when I tell you guys. It's not me being like, oh, like projects coming. To, oh, I'm working so hard. It's really just like you guys like my friends, and I tell my friends these things. So I feel like weird if I don't tell you guys. Also, on the topic of just feeling stressed and anxious all the time. Um, this happens a lot at the beginning of the year, and this also happens a lot the week before my period. I have PMDD, if you don't know what it is, pretty much just for disorder, it's like the worst thing ever. But that is the week that I will just get so in my head and overthink everything and think that I'm a failure and blah blah blah, whatever. And I've learned that if it's just that week, I just completely don't listen to it. I'm like, I'm not gonna feel that way in three days, and I ignore it. And it is so crazy what happens when you just recognize a thought that's not true and ignore it. Like, Oh my god, they should really teach you that in school. But on the topic of feeling anxious all the time, um, sometimes when I am feeling burnt out, what I'll do is just kind of scratch, I'll just kind of scratch my routine for the day or for the night, like where I normally have this like night routine, whatever. But if I want to stay up late and like watch YouTube videos or watch TV or even read a book or like whatever it is or even edit or do things that I used to do like in high school when I would like work at night and edit videos in my bed and I was so excited to like make vision boards I will just go back and do things that I used to do when I was like a kid or a teenager and it helps me so much um so that's what I'm gonna do I don't know just like no routine sometimes are the best thing okay good morning guys it is really cold today is Thursday I guess you could say it's snowed, but it's definitely just ice on the ground. Um, if you guys, I hate that light, only one month left of it. If you guys live in Texas or out, actually I'm curious how many of you guys live in Texas. Comment below. I don't even know if I'm going to like this flavor, but. Um, anyways, I'm sure you guys saw like the devastating ice storm we had last year. They were saying we're in another one. This is the other one. This is nowhere near what it was. It's not even one of those things really where like Texans are being dramatic. It's just that like obviously this date isn't built for that because we don't normally get them. Anyways, today is Thursday. I have calls from 1030 to 3. I have a bunch of interviews and then I have a Breadwinning Housewife 2022 merch meeting again. This puffer is the best purchase I've ever made. It's so long. Not often enough bad. about today I'm gonna make some frozen pizza for lunch it has been snowing we've barely gotten anything I've interviewed quite a lot of people today I had a therapy virtually and then in 10 minutes I have a meeting for merch for like summer drops I'm out of breath because I just carried my laundry from downstairs to the top guys it's just like really a lot honestly I had a virtual therapy if you guys are not in therapy you need to be in it I just clearly as we know have been having a week also like I did an ask box on Instagram because basically when I made my podcast it wasn't intended to be a like 20 survival guide podcast but when I went through my just I, I don't know 23rd year and opened up about how I was really struggling and just like the most confused I've ever felt and just you know whatever um I had so many of you guys reach out and say the same thing I got so many messages um and I shared a few of them anonymously online but I'm talking like hundreds of messages of people feeling the exact same way feeling like everyone around them is doing great and they're not either they're not on track um embarrassment for like not dating honestly a lot of messages from girls like embarrassed to be a virgin, which you should not be embarrassed of. Job, career, feeling like they're never going to find someone. Feeling like they're not going to find someone to build a future with. Feeling like they're in the wrong relationships. Feeling like they're overthinking. Like there was just so many. And it's so crazy reading those because you there's like hundreds of messages saying the exact same thing. And then also feeling like they're alone. And like we all feel this way. But people just don't really talk about it. I don't know what it is. Being vulnerable is definitely a difficult thing but I think there's pressure too in your 20s to feel like you have to know everything or have it together and I don't know so anyways being in your 20s is hard guys I'm not gonna lie but I have a meeting in like four minutes and then I guess I'll just put this in here now 
And then I'm going to do my laundry and set a timer for like another 20 minutes. Just clean and go through my closet and get everything situated. I feel like my house is like a little bit cluttered. Not like really cluttered, but I just want to clean up a little bit. And then have a nice, probably like relaxing afternoon. I've been working on my iPad again. And I just love working on that. I've let it be dead for probably six months. And I charged it and like, what a good choice. Uh, hey, Ken. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? All right, guys, upstairs we go. Giving myself. 23 minutes. Happy Friday, everyone. There is snow or ice on the ground last night. Oh my god, I'm really tired. I have calls on it today. I was only continuing the vlog because I have furniture. Well, I was supposed to have furniture arriving today. The furniture is not arriving. The roads are very icy. I'm gonna give you guys a little book review on what I read in January. I read six books. I have the Kindle Oasis. If you guys have any questions about the Kindle Oasis, I have a highlight on my Instagram. And if you need more book racks, I'm constantly posting on my feed and highlights. I honestly just want to be in bed reading all day today. The first book I read was Good Morning Monster. I actually liked the You Need to Talk to Someone book better than Good Morning Monster. I, I liked Good Morning Monster a lot, but I felt like it dragged on a lot. I really enjoyed it still, and if you guys have read You Need to Talk to Someone or You Should Talk to Someone, I read that I think summer 2020. Both books are following therapists and their journeys with certain patients. So it's really interesting and really helpful. Then I read Full Out by Monica from Cheer. She's the coach of Navarro. Incredible. What I like a lot about this book is that it feels like she actually wrote it and like she's so like Texan, she probably did. What I mean by that is you can actually hear her voice in this book and I feel like a lot of like a celebrity books in general, sometimes you can lose that, especially when it's like a book deal pretty quick. So anyways, I really like that book. It's about leadership, it talks about her divorce and how they got back together. It's an interesting book. Love her. She's also like, her and Dolly Parton are like my two dream guests on the podcast. And Monica followed me on Instagram last week and um, that was probably the only time I've really ever fangirled, so. Okay, I also read Final Girls by Riley Sager. Natasha Beret told me to read this and she was like, this is such a good book. It was really good. It reminds me, for whatever reason, I must have read a book similar to this in like middle school or high school because for whatever reason, I must have read a book similar to this one in middle school or early high school because it kept reminding me of something. I haven't read that book and I don't know what book it was, but the final girls, they're girls that essentially like survived tragedy. Basically everyone else around them was murdered and they survived and there's this bond and then it follows their stories. It's, it's interesting. They have like a support group. Um, I liked it. I would give it like a 3.7 out of five. Then I read the fourth book in the Simple Wild series, which is like my favorite series ever. I would give anything to be able to read it again for the first time. Technically, it's book number three because there's a novella, but like there's four books. I hate when they do that. I just say four, you know? So I read Running Wild, which follows Marie's stories. So if you guys have read the series, it follows Jonah and Kala. Um, and then Jonah has a girl best friend Marie who's in love with him and then obviously he doesn't end up with her She's the veterinarian and in the series before like I didn't like her But then when you read it her from her perspective Oh queer eye in Texas is on the screen on the TV. I actually really need to watch that I can't believe I haven't watched that. I love queer eye. Anyways, it follows Marie's story It's not as intense as Jonah and Kala's which I kind of liked because it felt more true to Marie's story instead of making the books like match the books i felt like the book matched marie which i really appreciated and i loved the book if you guys have read the simple wild series i just love it oh my god i also read the go-giver which justin anderson recommended on a podcast somewhere a little story about a powerful business idea but it gives you like five principles it's a short read 
essentially it's just about like giving more value i really liked it it was a quick easy read it's a lot of things that i learned in college i went to like a leadership college so i liked it a lot last but not least i read reminders of him by colin hoover which is actually our book club pick if you guys didn't know we have a book club we meet in the middle of the month on the Geneva app. My Geneva Home, which is an app, is essentially like a really big group message. And we have like a subgroup on there for book club. We're meeting, I want to say like this February 13th or something. I don't know. The information is in the app. It's always linked below. Join it and we're basically going to do a clubhouse thing about it. I loved Reminders of Him. I recently made a Colleen Hoover ranking. Kind of wish that I did it because honestly... It would have been my top five. Colleen says this is her saddest, most depressing book, which I honestly agree with. Even over like All Your Perfects, which like I actually loved All Your Perfects, but it's not really like a crowd fave, but like that one's like the best one, honestly, besides it ends with us. This woman, I forget the character's names. So I don't even know why. This woman makes a really bad decision, ends up going to jail, finds out she's pregnant, loses her daughter, and then it kind of follows that story. I really like the story and I like how you're able to like humanize someone while they can make a horrible 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 mistake anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my book talk for the week i shared an instagram post with all these book titles and stuff too if you guys want to go check it out but i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog i'm sorry i was out of it but like sometimes that's what happens and these videos are very realistic so anyways love you guys so much and i'll talk to you soon bye and one day i really did just wake up and notice how much it changed and how much I had changed for the better and gotten so much stronger and more confident in who I am.